So there it is. There it goes. Only been what five days I've had it, and it's already being towed off. <sighs> You see, our house is a rental, and we've lived there for three years. And in order to keep the cost of rent down, I've always had to have roommates. Hello. Okay. Now having roommates can be a lot of fun, but it's not always easy. So we came to the conclusion that it was about time we got our own places. What are you doing, fat boy? The issue was, I didn't want my monthly rent costs to increase since I had student loans, a car payment, and a small skate shoe business loan to pay off. And I wasn't about to lock myself into a mortgage. I decided to give this van thing a try, but that meant I needed to sell my dream truck. When researching a van, there's tons of information out there to go to. There's so many forums and YouTube videos and Instagram accounts of people talking about the best vans to go with and what worked for them. I was kind of on that sprinter kick that everyone else was on. So I went to different dealerships trying to figure out what van best suited my needs. I took measurements, I imagined where my bathroom was going to be, my projector was going to be, where I would want to put a couch. And I tried to figure out what would be the best bang for my buck when it came to buying a van at the size that I needed. I ended up going to Indy Trucks. They let me test drive a ProMaster. There it is. I ended up really liking it. Dude, I am getting bugged out. There's actually... Maybe this will just be a good part of it. My truck wasn't getting any bites. I was running out of time. My lease was going to be up in like two to three months. So I kind of weighed my options and decided to go with the trade-in. Once they had a van that I wanted, I went back and I thought I was just going to check it out once they replaced the windshield and be like, okay, that's great. Maybe negotiate and stuff. I did a big purchase today. I ended up just buying it that day and trading the truck in as it was at 29.5, I think. And then they lowered the price of the van down to 21,000. Uh, and that was it, I had a van. Driving out of the lot with a big fucking van. Watch me clip my tr truck that I just sold them. I bought a cool van to pick up all the kids in the neighborhood. And that was it, I had a van. And we went out and we rode in it. Uh, we took the dogs out in it, cause who cares? Like they could get dirty and mess it up because it was just a big open box. Uh, they went swimming and stuff and I got used to what it was like driving a van, which was super weird. This is my main vehicle now. Uh, I'm gonna be commuting to work in this giant ass van and so i'm gonna have to get used to pulling it into small parking spots downtown but i'm excited to see what this is like uh it's something new i'm glad i finally pulled the bandaid off and got rid of the truck it was hard it wasn't for the price i wanted but you know what it's good to get started so uh i'm excited to see where this goes there's several, eh, I can't say several. There's several reasons why I went with the Ram ProMaster and I thought it would be funny if I explained it. Uh, now that I look back at it, it's pretty embarrassing. Whatever, you could see it. Um, First off, it's front wheel drive. As you can see, it fits perfectly into a normal parking space. It's only a little over eight feet tall. With plenty of standing room. The bulk of the van is up here in the front. It's wider than most vans. It's gas, not diesel. And honestly, it has a cheaper price tag than the other vans in its class. And I know what you're thinking. Dodge is unreliable and they break down. Well, I had it for a week. Things were going good. Turns out the transmission was bad. It would need a total rehaul. So. I brought it in and that took a whole process because not everyone works on commercial vehicles. Only certain dealerships do. Hey, business player, it's over at Champion Chrysler. We did have your vehicle checked out and uh, it is going to need an overhaul in the 
transmission, which is looks like it's covered under your powertrain warranty. Uh, however, we did have to order several different parts. Uh, hoping maybe we can get you done towards the end of next week. And so I had to wait a week, and then I got it in, uh, and then they finally checked it out, and then it was Fourth of July, uh, but we still had some fun. It's hot. It's hot. Motorcycle. sell rocks no more we just rock and roll in the water some more what's up Nick, my dog's got the noodley got the noodley how we gonna jump gainer we gonna do a gainer yeah. we in grippos we in grippos up top that's turner and that's me anyways a week after that i think it was like july 9th 5th it was a july someday i got my van back so the van's done Joe and I are supposed to go pick it up. He was up, I think, a minute ago. So let's go see how he's doing. Joe. <laughs> he crashed right back out. It is Friday, uh, July, nope. Friday? It's July, July yeah, 13th. Friday, July the 13th. And it has been three weeks since the van broke down, but I got a call yesterday and they said it's ready to go. Hooray! Woo! So we're on our way early in the morning to the shop to pick it up and then we're taking this borrowed van back to the dealership so I can get working on converting the damn thing this weekend. Where am I going? You'll see this fucking asshole in this black shirt. That's probably the guy I've been talking Hello, to Benjamin. on the phone. Hello, you're the one with the big white van. It's me, Clarence. <laughs> it was three weeks after I had bought it, so that left me like a month and a half to start outfitting the van. But at least I had it in hand. <laughs> On our way out. Indie trucks. This is where you go buy your trucks and vans. He did it. <laughs> Surprise. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Hi. Got the van back. We dropped off the borrowed one. Got my big loud one. Got the big loud one with all the dog hair. The dog it's hair. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, we're back on the road again. And we're back in the lot that I took it to when it died. But now, it's running. Uh, I can't frame this up with the shit. Bugs, 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 bugs.